we're gathered here today in the presence of God, family, and friends because you are the ones who have supported and known them so well. It's only fitting that you're here to share this once-in-a-lifetime moment. Today they will receive God's greatest gift, another person to share life with, to grow with, to change with, and to be joyful with. Rachel is not only my sister, but one of my closest friends. And whenever a major life event happens in my life, Rachel's one of the first people I call to let her know. She's a smart, beautiful, confident, and dependent woman. Rachel and Cameron have built a relationship based on love and mutual respect. They're always there for each other, encouraging each other, and they push each other to be the best versions of themselves. Um, you're the coolest big brother I could have ever asked for. And I really do appreciate how you've guided me through my life thus far and through the years, and I know you're going to be a great mentor for me in the future. Cameron has really all of the qualities that you need to be a good big brother, and you're just my biggest supporter while still keeping me humble in every situation. Just thank you for being such a good bro big brother. And honestly, an even better friend. So he's always told me that you want to be with someone that, without an effort, makes your life easier and more enjoyable. That's stuck with me forever. Without an effort, Rachel, you make Cameron's life 100% more enjoyable. And without a doubt, I know that you're the perfect match for him. So. Cameron, you're the most wonderful young man. Um, you are such a blessing to our lives. You and Rachel say that your relationship began in August of 2015, I think. In my mind, it started before that. You came home after your mission trip to Hawaii, and you said, Mom, do you want to see the picture of my future husband? And uh, most people would roll their eyes and say, you're 18 years old, what do you know about future husbands? But it struck a chord with me because I had done the same thing back in 1988 when I met my husband. <laughs> Rachel, you look so beautiful. Rachel and Cameron, your journey began the moment you first met. There was that moment that I'm sure you both remember where you first laid eyes on the one who stands before you now. Something inside you said, maybe. <laughs> and at some point he said, I hope so. And finally that wonderful moment where you said, I know so. And you took, you've taken the time to learn what makes your partner smile, what makes them laugh, and how to best support them when life is less than simple. You've welcomed each other's families, communities, and lifelong friends, and you've joined them together with warmth and enthusiasm. You make each other better with your love and you've worked every day to support your partnership as it changes and as it grows. Rachel, the combination of your intelligence, your hard work, your heart, your confidence, and so many other things, you are just, have no limits to what you can accomplish in your life. And that includes your career, it includes your marriage, it includes as parent, anything you want to do. I know that you are going to be successful, and I cannot tell you how proud I am to be your father. Now, Cameron, we've gotten to know you over about seven years, but in reality, we've been praying for you for over 20 years. But I know you guys are, love each other, and we could not be more proud of you. To Cameron and Rachel, 